Well, hey there. I'm Kimberly Ferguson, CEO and founder of Emerald Expectations Accounting. I'm so happy that you're here. The Emerald Corner is a place where life and business meet. So we want to share with you the process of running a business while maintaining a life with your loved ones. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to be more productive and plan out your day. Okay. As a small business owner, there are certainly a lot of areas that you need to maintain order so that you can stay productive and also stay on top of all the work that needs to be done, right? So number one is stay organized, okay? So last week we talked about some steps you can take in order to get organized and stay organized in your business. So if you missed that video, I'll go ahead and link it below for you. But staying organized is going to be a huge part of being productive. If you don't know one, where things are, two, what things actually need to be done, how can you possibly imagine that you'll stay productive? You just can't, at least not long-term, right? <laughs> so the next thing, number two, is a brain dump, okay? Get all of the tasks and ideas and everything else out of your head and onto paper or in an app or on a Word document, whatever. <laughs> whatever you have and you like using, get it out of your head. So what this does is it makes room inside of your brain for, you know, new ideas, new things to come up. It also gives you the ability to focus on the tasks that you're looking for. And it also makes room for you to prioritize, which leads me to number three, which is choose your top three priorities for the day. If you get these three things done, you're going to feel like you had a productive and successful day. Okay. So you know, think about the tasks that you've been avoiding. Not that you do that, right? <laughs> think about the big tasks that are going to make an impact on your life and your stress level. Try to get those done first, okay? Write those three things down, circle them on your brain dump list, whatever. But somehow note that these are the three things that you need to get done today. And then if after you get those three done, you still have time to do other things, then that's okay. Add another one. No problem. <laughs> but having three things to focus on gives your brain the ability to focus and feel accomplished and be less overwhelmed with looking at an entire to-do list, right? <laughs> so number four is if something takes you less than two minutes to complete it, then do it now, okay? And if not, schedule it. And I mean schedule it. Literally put it on your calendar. Find your next opening on the calendar that gives you enough time to complete the task and put it on there. It's like a set it and forget it moment. And like I said in the last one, the fewer things that your brain needs to remember, the better off you're going to be. You'll be able to focus. You'll be able to, you know, actually get things done and be productive. Lastly, number five is using block scheduling. So what is block scheduling exactly? So that's where instead of putting like 800 itty bitty little tasks on your calendar and thinking that you're gonna get them done, instead what you do is you take chunks of time and you put that on your calendar. So keep in mind that these blocks should be maybe two to three hours long in order to be the most productive. But what you wanna to do to kind of figure out what your blocks should be is to think about your day as it is now. So what are the most natural ways to break up your day? This is gonna look a little bit different for everyone, but I wanted to give you an example. So for me, this looks something like 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. is like a morning block. And during that time, you know, you wake up, you brush your teeth, you get dressed. You, for me, I walk on the treadmill, eat breakfast, read my Bible, those kinds of things. And then, once that's done, we move into our morning work period. So from about nine to 11 ish, this is where I work on my business. Okay. This is where I do my brain dump. I make my priority list. I read and respond to emails. I do my social media posting. I update my budgets and accounting, follow up with leads, etc. Things that matter for working on the business, right? Trying to grow the business, trying to keep the business operating. Okay. So after that, from about 11-ish to 1, this is my lunch period. So I make lunch, take a break from work, maybe go for a walk outside, get the snail mail, check in with my husband, get coffee, plan my afternoon meetings, that kind of stuff. And then after that is my evening work period. So this one's a little bit longer. It's from 1 to 5. 
This is where I work in my business. So I do my client work, I do my appointments, I check in with current clients, respond to messages within our client portal, complete client tasks and host client appointments, okay? So this is the time when I'm working in my business, I'm meeting with clients, I'm doing client work, right? So my next block is from five to eight-ish. So this is dinner. So this is where I make dinner, obviously. This is also where I might catch up on tasks that I needed to be able to focus on. Because during the day, a lot of times, you know, clients are writing, texting, and you know, other calls are coming through and whatever that looks like. But if I need to accomplish some client tasks without interruption, I might kind of fill those in here and catch up on those tasks. And then my last block is from about eight to 11 and it's my evening block. So this is where I spend time with my husband. We might watch a movie or just relax and talk. And usually we try to head to bed around 10 p.m. But, you know, in bed, we might read a book or scroll on social media while he listens to, you know, some John Christ or an artist or something that he enjoys. But by 11 p.m., we are lights out and hopefully asleep. Maybe. <laughs> But overall, I think using block scheduling allows you to have a more clear direction for what you will accomplish during the day without micromanaging your schedule, if you know what I mean. It also still allows for some flexibility. So when those oddball things pop up, you can take care of them without stressing about losing your schedule and your productivity. Not that that ever happens in business, right? <laughs> well, what do you think? Which of these tips did you find most helpful? I'd love to hear more about it in the comments below. Thank you so much for spending this time with me today. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you in my next video.